This is episode 9 of the series on crazy nuclear rocket engines, where we will explore the nuclear saltwater rocket. If you haven't watched it, please watch the introduction video now. The nuclear saltwater rocket takes a unique approach. Instead of trying to have a controlled reaction inside the rocket core, it goes for the biggest reaction possible, a detonation of the nuclear fuel either inside the combustion chamber or inside the nozzle. Note that the term detonation here is not an editorial comment, but the description used by the engine designer. It uses water with 2% uranium tetrabromide in it as a dissolved salt. That is injected at high speed into the combustion chamber and it fissions very rapidly, generating a ton of energy and vaporizing both the water with the fuel and additional water injected to protect the engine and structure. The estimated thrust is about 8 meganewtons roughly equivalent to the F1 engine used on the Saturn V first stage, at a specific impulse of 8,000. That is with uranium tetrabromide that is enriched to 20% uranium-235. If you push the enrichment to 90% uranium-235, that gives you a specific impulse of 480,000. Here's a scorecard for the nuclear saltwater rocket. On the plus side, look at that specific impulse. With highly enriched uranium, it can go anywhere. On the negative side, it's hard to store the fuel without exploding in the tanks. It's a continuously exploding atomic weapon inside the engine, and the radiation from the exhaust plume kills the crew even if the rocket survives. I'm rating it a 25 on the craziness scale, but I'm not sure that is high enough. If you enjoyed this video, please go swim in some non-nuclear salt water.